it's your girl Regina coming at you guys with another video. It's been a minute and a half. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about some books that I received. My dad recently went to India, and I messaged another friend of mine in India. I said, hey, you know what kind of books I like? You know um, that I'm interested in reading more Indian authors? So recommend me a few books. Uh, so my dad picked them up. And so she gave me four titles. One of them my dad picked up, which is a trilogy. Another one is Book of Smell. I already opened it because this video is being filmed for the second time. So, uh, yeah. I haven't started any of them, but I'm very curious, and I can't wait to start them at some point. Alright, first up, we're going to talk about the trilogy. And the trilogy is called the Shiv Trilogy, by Lord Shiva, but Shiv. Book one is... The Immortals of Maruha by Amish. The second one is The Secret of the Nagas by Amish. And The Oath of Vyapatras, also by Amish. I'll read out the um, synopsis. I do want to let you know that I'm not going to be reading out the full synopsis, just the general gist of it. This one is about the story of a man whom legend turned into a god. 1900 BC, in what modern Indians mistakenly call the Indus Valley Civilization. The inhabitants of that period called it the Land of Maluha, a near perfect empire created many centuries earlier by Lord Rob, one of the greatest monarchs that ever lived. The, this once empty, sorry, this once proud empire and its sediment rulers faced several perils in its, as its primary river, the revered Seneswati, is closely dying to extinction. They also faced devastating terrorist attacks from the east, the land of the Chandra Vanshas. To make matters worse, the Chandra Vanshas appears to have allied with the Nagas, an uh, ostracized and sinister race of deformed humans with astonishing martial skills. So that's book one. Hi, Nico. Ah. Who's home? Ah. Oh, it's just a case of not saying it's cut off. You're okay. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know. He's taking a nap. <laughs> um, the Secret of the Nagas. Today, he's a god. 4,000 years ago, he was just a man. The hunt is on. The sinister Naga warrior has killed his friend, Brahaspati, and now stalks his wife, Sati, Shiv, the Tibetan immigrant, who is prophesied destroyer and evil, will not rest till he finds his demonic adversary. His vengeance and the path to evil will lead him to the door of the Nagas, the serpent people. Of that, he is certain. Next up, we have the Oath of the Vyapatri. Evil has risen. Only a god can stop it. Shiv is gathering his forces. He reaches the Naga um, capital, Panchavati, or Panchavati, and evil is finally revealed. The Neokand prepares for a holy war against his true enemies. A man whose name 
and stones dried in the fiercest of warriors. Indian convulses under the onslaught of a series of brutal battles. It's a war for the very soul of the nation. Many will die, but Shiv must not fail, no matter what the cost. In his desperation, he reaches out to the ones who have never offered any help to him. Divine footprints. One thing is for sure. I may be Indian. I may know Hindi and Punjabi, but even then, some of the words still elude me, especially if they're rooted in Sanskrit, which is India's version of Latin. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This next one I received uh, from a follower on Instagram. I had entered a giveaway. I did not win said giveaway. But this follower had noticed that I had entered and she asked me if I still wanted the book. More like she asked if I had won it. So when I told her that I hadn't won, uh, she kindly offered to give me her copy. She said that she loved it very much. And this one is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I have been seeing this book around since December-ish, I believe. I saw it at my own what, uh, bookstore. Didn't think to pick it up. And uh, I'm happy that I have this. And here's a summary of that. Between life and death, there is a library. When Nora Seed finds herself in the midnight library, she has a chance to make things right. Up until now, her life has been full of misery and regret. She feels she has let everyone down, including herself. But things are about to change. The books in the Midnight Library enable Nora to live as if she had done things differently. With the help of an old friend, she can now undo every one of her regrets as she tries to work out her perfect life. But things aren't always what she imagined they'd be. And soon, her choices place the library and herself in extreme danger. Before time runs out, she must answer the ultimate question. What is the best way to live? She was also kind enough to include a bookmark. Um, says... Some infinities are bigger than other infinities. This is from the Fault in Our Stars. However, I like the colors. And it kind of matches the book, too. You know. Hopefully my dog won't get excited about this. So, yeah. I like the concept of this book. You know, I, I talked about this on my, uh, my channel before. If I had the chance to fix some things when I, or if I had a ch chance to change something, would I? Um, well, I would like to say no. I am curious if I were given the opportunity just to see how my life would have played out if I hadn't taken the roads that I had. For example, if I hadn't gone to the college I had, what if I hadn't been friends with uh, this one particular person? What if I hadn't told him that I had feelings for him? Um, what if I had gotten a job right out of college? You know, a teaching position, you know? What if we had gone to Canada or the UK when I was a kid? Um, by that I mean that um, in the 90s, before my parents decided on coming here, we were offered um, a place, uh, medical treatment in the UK, Canada, 
No, not Canada, and Italy. And it's interesting, you know. I hope my life would have been like if I had gone to any of those countries rather than the US. So yeah, I I'm curious about this book. And you know what? Honestly, as a bookworm, I feel like I should have more books that are set in the library and also set in bookstores, you know? And also like the cover of this really pretty Quite reverent. Anyways, that's all I have for now. I'm gonna see you guys next time.